This is the story of the electric car journey, 207 kilometres, in regional New South Wales, Australia. So here's Sydney, and in upstate New South Wales, here's where our journey is to be. Now in this part of Australia, unlike Europe or America, there are absolutely no charging stations. In fact, there are absolutely no electric cars at all. We are a complete anomaly, and the cars we will be making the journey with are very old tech. A 2011 Nissan Leaf with a driving range of 70 kilometers. And for, with that car, we're expecting to make the 125 kilometer journey to Tamworth. We've already contacted the Bendemeer Caravan Park, and he's offered us a charge there for $2 while we have lunch. Check out how much stuff we have. Totally packed. Hi, kids. Valley, cello, oh, eat. Let's go. Here's the dog. Go. go. This car's heavier than normal. We're going to use even more electricity. We've so lost, we've well. lost 12 kilometers of range, and we've gone two kilometers. <laughs> Snack on the road. Mm -hmm. listening, kids listening to some music. How are we going on the kilometres, Lily? How many have we got left? 34. Oh no. 34 kilometres of range. Oh no. And we've been. And we've, we've got driven, how many kilometres? We've driven 64.6. So we've got 70 kilometres of driving to drive. And how many kilometres of range left? 33. 33. So probably definitely won't make it. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh no. 29 kilometres of range left. It's going down fast. We've only got 29 kilometers of range left. But we've just got to the top of the hill. So let's see what we can do by coasting. We get to yeah. coast for 20 kilometers. Seven hours. Oh, mate. Here we go, we picked up the charge in Bendemeer, got 32 kilometres. Yeah, yeah. I know, and, the, because and 35 kilometres like, to go. 40 kilometres of range available now, and only 20 kilometres to go, thanks to the Moonby Hills. <laughs> We've arrived at Tamworth Car Carrying. Load everything into the car. Swap loading everything into this car. Heading out from the Tamworth car carrying in the electric ute. <laughs> Kids transferred across to the other electric car for the second part of the journey. The girls have gone shopping, they're only going to join us for the first half. The boys are going to make the second part of the journey by themselves. Let's, you ready to go William? You ready to go? Ready mate? Let's go. This car's eerily silent. You pull up at the stop sign. Absolutely.
absolutely silent. It's eerie. Waiting for the traffic, there's not a noise at all. This is a converted electric ute. It's got about a hundred kilometer range and the batteries are new, but the batteries are about five years old now. Converted to lithium ion batteries. It's a Toyota Hilux four door. Electric ute converted in 2006. So it's 10 years old now, 11 years old. Heading on the road out of Tamworth, big sky country. Arrived in Manila. I've used 77 amp hours. The voltage is just starting to show that it's uh, moving towards the last part of its range. I've driven 47 kilometers. So that means 10 kilowatt hours. You can get about 12 kilowatt hours. My, my efficiency is not too bad for a heavy car, 212 watt hours per kilometer. The convenience of charging. I found a power point in an old town hall. Run the lead across to the car. And she's charging. Now we can go and have dinner. And feed the baby who's very grumpy. Where's my dinner? Having dinner in the local Indian restaurant. <laughs> Just waiting for the car to charge and having dinner. charged in Manila we had to charge for three and a half hours to get enough charge to get home so off we go and it's 10 o'clock well we made it home sweet home